I have been trying to get in front of Miss Thompson all night. Surely she cannot be interested in Lord Rutledge, can she? I think the only thing Miss Thompson is interested in is a swift rescue indeed. I believe you're right. Uh, Colin, I did not meet... I shall need to bring you something unexpected. A bushel of tomatoes, perhaps. <laughs> Marina hates tomatoes. That is untrue. I love tomatoes. I'm beginning to feel a little bit faint. Perhaps you know of a more private place where I might catch my breath? Oh, certainly, Miss Thompson, please. Mother? Have I told you Miss Thompson is very accomplished at needlework? She really is quite brilliant. Puts my sisters to... You can choose anyone but him. He, he is my friend, Marina. I have known him forever. And I do not want him to be tricked and deceived into a lifelong commitment. You must not do this to a good man. Colin, I wish to tell you something. I have something I wish to tell you as well, Ben. I'm leaving. Let, let mirth around and let the cats and toast no, go round. No, what was it you wished to say? I don't remember. <coughs> Should we dance? Uh, no, um, I'm all danced out for the night. Colin, good luck on your tour. He is a good man with a good heart. You were very good to him. I am certain one day he will see it. Brother! Brother! Pardon me. Pen. Oh, Colin! I declare. Penelope. Colin is my friend. As if he would ever waste his ink on someone like you. Pen, how have you been? Well, I have been well, and you do not answer that. I know who you've been. Colin Bridgerton is no more your friend than I am the next Catherine the Great. Now, I, I have you to thank. Your letters were so encouraging. I thought, if Penelope can see me this way, then... Surely I can too. I was just... Well, I was never on my own, of course. I see. Pen, you met someone. Pen, I finally found you. You always do. You've been back a matter of hours yet you're already in my way. You've sworn off women then? Not for the time being. I am a woman. You are Pen. You do not count. You're my friend. Of course. Your friend. If you would simply open your eyes to what is in front of you, then you might see there are those in your life you already make happy. And who would that be? You have your family. You have... Penelope. Penelope? Our relationship has taken shape so naturally over the years, one could take it for granted. You have always been so... constant and loyal, Pen. I... I do not believe I deserve such praise for my loyalty. You would not be making up an excuse just to call on me, would you? <laughs> Anthony is to be married. Benedict has his artistic pursuits and, well, here I am, feeding the ducks. Well, I'm sure the ducks are most grateful. Come with me. Colin, it could be thought quite scandalous for the two of us. There are no gemstone mines in Georgia. Your cousin, Lord Featherington. You're astonishing, Colin. I cannot thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you, Penelope. Lady Crane was right about you. Lady Crane? What did she say? That you cared for me. That you would never forsake me. I'm beginning to believe that now. <laughs> Penelope Featherington. The way you were dancing with her looked rather interesting. Oh. Oh. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Ah, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> <laughs>